In big late novel news, Kanokawa just announced that they acquired J Novel Club. Welcome back to Bad Anime Decisions, I'm Anya Archer, and as a big lover of light novels, this news feels pretty big to me. But who are they, and why does this matter? Kanokawa is a huge, and I mean HUGE, media conglomerate in Japan, with sub-companies in other countries too. Even if you don't hear their name often from the English-speaking consumer side of things, many of the anime, light novels, and manga you read have been published or produced by Kanokawa. Bookwalker Global, which sells digital manga and light novels in English, is one of their sub-companies. They even partly own Yen Press, one of the biggest manga and light novel publishers in the US that released some of the books that I featured on here before. Meanwhile, J Novel Club localizes and publishes many light novels in the US, mostly digitally, though they've been expanding more into physical releases and manga releases too. Many of my favorite light novels were released by J Novel Club, which I'll link down below. And I'm really grateful for them because of how relatively small the English light novel market is, I probably would have never gotten to read some of these books without them. When asked about their most risky license in terms of business, they once responded Cooking with Wild Game, which landed in my top 3 favorite series. If they didn't take a chance with that, then maybe no one would have ever translated it here at all, which is a scary thought to me. So what does this all mean? J Novel Club actually released an FAQ page, which I'll also link down below, but the TLDR summary is that the prices will stay the same, their systems will stay separate from Bookswalker, they'll still publish things from other companies that aren't Kadokawa, and the workflows and release schedules that they work on will still stay the same. Of course, things are always at the whims of our corporate overlords, but I doubt they'll change anything anytime soon. But Kanokawa's backing should hopefully keep J Novel Club more stable in case things happen and allow them to grow more, and being tied to a well-known name in Japan could potentially make it easier to negotiate new licenses. This makes me hopeful for the future of English localized light novels. My one concern would be if they adopt strict DRM and lock down their digital books to only their app like Bookwalker does. Plus, like, Reading on an e-ink screen is way better than reading on a phone screen, and I want to be able to keep reading on my Kindle. I mean, there are some e-ink screen Android tablets out there too, but they're from questionable origins, and they're probably not very really good. However, since Yen Press also publishes on Amazon and other digital storefronts, I don't think we have to worry about that. But let me know what you think about this in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, and subscribe for more videos on all sorts of weeb stuff. And remember, anime was a mistake.